Number Western two, Kentucky two, is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He just drills this one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here we go. Francis And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Three down, three down. Mike four, Mike four. Ready. Red 18. And they get the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Fourth and long here after the sack. Booming kick. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. The Hilltoppers, in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself, and I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome, and I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. From the 48-yard line, second down. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. This one will fall incomplete. The pass falls incomplete. Number 87, the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Gets to about the 24-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 20. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Scrambling. That's a great tackle at the eight. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Has some daylight. Breaks one and scores. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 52-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So the score now, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. The Hilltoppers are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, 
Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He makes it to the 25-yard line. That makes it second in time. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of eight yards. That'll bring up third and long. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Hey, watch number five, number five. Watch They'll five. spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. It's an out to his receiver in a hurry. Nothing the offense dialed up was enough to get by these guys. They're on right now. That makes it fourth and eight. Oh, excellent punt. Gets to about the 37-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Western Kentucky is up by a touchdown. He's on the run. Good open field tackle. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 38. He fights forward to about the 39. exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball and it comes out a little wobbly. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hilltoppers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. There. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 20. Complete big loss. Loss of five there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 15 yard line. Ready! Flag on the end! Going deep. He's taken down to 32 yard line. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. And he's tackled around the 24 yard line. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-0, Hilltopper. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Four down, four down. Mike four, Mike four. Here we go. Blue idiot. They'll drop him for a loss. 
Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. Have moved them back. They'll line it up again on third down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's tackled after positive yardage. seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Fresno State to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Here we go. Black Knight on. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That'll make it second. They're about four yards away here on second down. Now he's got room to run. Tackle made at the 48. to the offensive line getting beat it's a snap of the ball it's second down 12 to go ball on the 47 here we go and he carries the ball for a nice game the grab and steps out right away. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Room around the corner. Makes it out to about the 30. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings us second and one. Gets it out to him again. Rock down. 21. Number 32 with the tackle. At the 21 yard first and 10. Ball on the 21. Makes it first and 10. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set. And he comes in with his dime packing. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled. Right down the 14 yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. That'll bring up second and three. Ready! 19! He's got it with room to run. And down he goes at about the seven yard line. Number 30 brings him down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Makes it first and goal. Ready! Check, check! Regular, regular! Shows some moves and he's in. And 
Buddy converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. The quarterback scramble gains three yards. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. And he's going to be sacked. It's the senior corner who nails the quarterback for the sack. Nice call here, but they might want to wait a while before going back to it again. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Three down, three down. Mike, four. Here we go. He sails it long. He's brought down in the open field. And the receiver shows us why he's considered one of the fastest on the team. You know, you often hear the term deceptive speed and how certain players have it. But I'll tell you what, there's nothing deceptive about this guy's speed. He can flat out fly. They'll get him for a loss. Loss of six yards. That'll, That'll bring, bring up, up second, second and 12. 12. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. I'm here all day. Jack, Jack, Thunder! Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. It was a seven-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. 14 apiece. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over in our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Up the middle for a nice game. A gain of about four yards on the draw. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Ready! Red 18! And he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. And he's taken down right around the 46-yard line. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 44. Check, check. That's a 200 check. 200 check. check. Set. Wide 80. Wide 80. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 31. We played a half of football. We're deadlocked right now at 14.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this great, it's great, it's close, it's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. And the Great second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Get to that quickly. That's a great tackle at the 32. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Set! Red 18! <laughs> Got some open field. He makes his way to about the 42. That's good for a of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. That makes, that makes it second, it second and six. six. From their own 46 yard line, second down. Ready! Red 68! Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle at the 49. The 39 yard line. Gain of 12 yards. First down. From the 39 yard line. First down. Set. And he makes it out to about the 37 yard line. That makes it second and eight. scrambling and he's going to come up with a sack absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator he brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction and it seemed to confuse the offense here's the eighth play of the series Six-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Here we go! And he 
he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Tenth play of the drive. He scrambled, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 14-yard line. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. From the 14-yard line, first down. He's on the run. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. This is the 13th play of this drive. He's tackled right around the four yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. It's first down and they'll be looking for six points here. And he is drilled at the three. A yard on the run. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. And this is the 15th play of the current drive. They line up in the jumbo set. And they get the sack. The blitz worked on that play as they got to the quarterback. And the linebacker's going to get credit here for the sack, but that was outstanding coverage downfield. The quarterback didn't have any options downfield, giving the linebacker time to make the play. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Let's go! And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Another sack. These hits take a toll on the quarterback physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of him. Western Kentucky could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. It. He's in space. He's pushed out of bounds at the 43. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He goes downtown for the 20. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And he tackles him hard at the 14. They bring him down in the backfield. That's three down and one to go. The Hilltoppers with a three-point lead. That makes it second and ten. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Mark 
four. Here we go. Red, Behind. 85. Red, 85. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. immediately after the catch. They stopped for a six-yard loss on the play. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one quarter game now. Every possession is vital. He's to the 40, gains his way to the 46 yard line. First and ten, ball on the 46-yard line. Set, wide, 80, wide, 80. Fires it out. And he's leveled at the 47. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Makes the catch and look out. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Fires quickly and he's got his man. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Second and nine. Ball on the 39-yard line. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. That'll bring up third and two. He's scrambling. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25. Less than three minutes in the game. Wide 80. Wide 80. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 10-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Tied up here in the fourth. Now would be the time for a goal line stand. Let's go! Red 68! He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. He makes the PAT. 
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They come out in a five-wide set. Let's go! Goes it in a hurry. And they push him out around the 48-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 34. Just over two minutes in the game. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws complete. He's hammered. Yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Touchdown, Bulldogs. I think you have to play it safe here. Go for the tie by kicking the extra point and then let your defense take this thing into overtime. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Just under two minutes in the game. The defender had it and then dropped it. You don't want to knock the big guy because it was a very good play, but it looked like he could have come up with the interception. From their own 25 yard line, it's second down. He sails it long. It's caught, and they make the stop around the 37-yard line. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Scrambling around, and he hits him hard at the 41. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, offense. 
They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're Still in a third, third down. down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Set! Green on the Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ballgame, and now the offense has got a chance to win it. The kick is away, and he just drilled it from long range. Number two. And with time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. These offensive coordinators have done a remarkable job. I think it's going to be who blinks first. Well, I think both of them right now feel pretty good about what they're trying to do. The challenge for them is not to change the mojo and the rhythm that they've both been able to create. Well, this is the chance. Late in the fourth quarter, they're behind, but they've got an opportunity now to come back and win it. Let's go! Nice run up the middle. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Now he's scrambling. Fresno State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He got three yards there on the scramble. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Caught, open field. That's a great tackle at the 36. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination to get it. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. He chucks it downfield. Missed him. This one's in the books. The Hilltoppers get the victory, 27-24. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.